You don't have to be a math genius to solve this problem. All you really need is strong practical math skills and this will be a very easy problem to solve. All right, so let's take a look at the question. So after making a two foot cube from a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood, how much wood is left over? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. And I want to uh, stress, this is a little bit of a hint, that uh, you want to take a nice simplistic view of this problem. Don't overcomplicate it, all right? So this is a simple, basic math word problem, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time after making a two foot cube. So what is a cube? Well, it's a three dimensional object. Just kind of think of an ice cube. All right, so after making a two foot cube from a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood, how much of this plywood is left over after you build this cube. So the first step to solving any math word problem is to read it more than one time. So I'm going to suggest that you read a problem at least three times before you start doing any math. Now, the first time you read a problem, you just kind of get a general sense of what's going on. The second time, make sure you understand the question. And then the third time, you know, go back and look for more details, put it all together and then come up with a plan. Now, a great thing that, it, uh, a great thing that you can do to solve any math word problem is to try to come up with a model, try to visualize it. And in this particular case, it's going to be essential that we understand what a two foot cube looks like. All right. So we have this uh, four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. Now, this is something that you would buy in any hardware uh, store. You know, it's a big piece of plywood like this. And I know a lot of you out there know what I'm talking about because many of you, I'm sure, worked in construction or the trades or just did a lot of home improvement. OK, so we have this four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood and we want to build a two foot cube from this. So what is a two foot cube? Well, a two foot cube would look something like this. So all the sides are two feet. OK, so a cube is a three dimensional object that is built from a square, right? So in other words, the sides are equal or congruent. So here we have two feet this way. We have two feet this way and two feet this way. The height, length and width are all two feet. So this is what a cube is. So if we wanted to build this thing, well, we're going to have to come up with these sides. Now, what I uh, talked about in the beginning of this video in terms of not overcomplicating the problem is the following. If we were actually going to build this uh, two foot cube, we would have to consider the width of the plywood. OK, so maybe is it a half inch plywood or is it, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe one fourth of an inch because that would, in fact, um, uh, come into play, you know, technically speaking, if we were going to uh, really make a two foot cube out of plywood. All right. So it could change the mathematics here. So what we're talking about is a nice kind of infinitely skinny uh, two feet by two feet square, right? Two foot by two foot square. Hopefully I said that right, but I think you get the idea. All right. So let's just kind of take uh, this, uh, the width of the plywood out of the situation. OK, so what we need here is this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. And all the sides are two feet by two feet. So let's uh, take our figure to the next step and imagine it this way. OK, so here is our two foot by two foot cube. So how many sides do we have here? Well, we have six sides, right? So again, we have the front, the back. Uh, the right, the left, okay, and then the top or the top and the bottom, right? So you really got to have to think about this, but we have six sides to this cube. All right, so we're going to need six sides to build this cube, and each side is going to be two feet by two feet. So two feet, two foot by two foot here, 
two foot by two foot by two foot here, two foot by two foot here, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we're gonna need six sides at uh, two by two, and of course, uh, the units of measure here are feet. So these are kind of the sides or the pieces that we need to build this two foot cube. All right, now let's uh, talk about area because this is gonna be the way we want to kind of express our answer. So the area of these uh, panels, if you will, or these sides are going to be four. Okay, so the area of a square is the length times the width or side times side. So here, a two foot by two foot square has an area of four feet squared. And because we have six of these, our total area needed to build this uh, two foot cube is gonna be six times four or 24 square feet. Okay, so that is the amount of material that we need to build this two foot square or this two foot cube rather. Okay, so now putting this all together, uh, we gotta go back and make sure we understand the problem. And that is namely how much wood is gonna be left over after we use this amount of material from our four by eight foot piece of plywood. All right, so to figure out the answer, we need to take a look at this plywood, this four foot by eight foot uh, sheet of plywood. So I probably should have stressed this in the beginning of the problem, but I guess I assumed that uh, most of you know that uh, the shape of this is going to be a rectangle. So when you go to the hardware uh, store in the United States, we have stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, you're gonna find this uh, four or these uh, four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood, right? So this is very uh, kind of common dimensions, but the main idea here is that these uh, shape or the shape of a four foot by eight foot piece of plywood is a rectangle. Okay, so these are 90 degree angles, so we can easily find the area of a rectangle and the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. So the area of a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood is gonna be eight feet times four feet or 32 feet squared. Now it's important to uh, notice the uh, unit of measure for area. Okay, so here we have eight feet. Now this is just notation four feet, this little apostrophe. But if I had eight feet here and I'm multiplying it by four feet here, it's gonna be eight times four, which of course is 32 and feet times feet, which is feet squared. So you can't forget uh, your units of measure when it comes to uh, dimensions like length, area, volume, etc. Okay, so again, the unit of measure for area is feet squared or units of measured squared. Okay, so this uh, ply, uh, four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood has a total of 32 feet squared. So how much wood is going to be left over after building our two foot cube out of this uh, four, four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood? Well, we're talking about simple arithmetic. Okay, so we need, again, 24 square feet to build our two foot cube and we have 32 square feet to work from, so how much is left over? Well, the answer is gonna be 32 minus 24 or eight square feet. Okay, another way to think about uh, getting the answer is this way. So if this is our sheet of plywood, again, we have four feet by eight feet, we can uh, kind of divide up our sheet of plywood into uh, two by two squares, right? because we have nice even numbers here. So we could take this four and divide it by half. So we have two and two, and then we could take this eight and divide it by uh, four sections of two. So that means we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, two feet by two feet squares. So how many of these squares do we need to build our two foot cube? Well, we're going to need six of them, right? So we'll need this one, this one, this one, this one, that's four, five, six. So how much wood is left over? Well, we have these two panels right here, but remember we want to think in terms of area. So the area of this uh, panel or this little square is four uh, feet square. And this one is also four foot squared. So we are left over with a total of eight foot squared. Okay, so hopefully this was a pretty easy problem. And again, the key to solving any math word problem is to make sure you actually understand the problem 
and then of course visualize it and apply some basic practical math skills to get the answer. Now one thing that I want to really stress for those of you that are math students, um, when it comes to math word problems, don't purposely overcomplicate them. Now, in a real life situation, if someone was going to build a two foot by two foot uh, cube, they would have to, you know, obviously consider the width of uh, the wood, et cetera, et cetera. So we're not talking about that. So uh, in terms of math or word problems, always try to default to the simplest uh, version of the problem. And if you are not sure, raise your hand and ask your teacher if you are facing a question like this on an exam or test. Okay, now if you want to improve in basic mathematics or maybe algebra or geometry, make sure to check out the various courses I have in the description of this video. All right, so those are my most popular courses and those courses are my Math Foundations course, which is a quick review of basic mathematics. And then I have my Math Skills Rebuilder course, which reviews uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry. And then you'll find courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, uh, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. But I have a ton of other courses as well. So to find those courses, just go to tcmathacademy.com. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.